Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. teacher. Can hello. you hear me this yes. day? Yes. Yes, okay. I can hear you. How are you? I'm very tired. Yeah, but it's um, Friday. <laughs> today, eh, tuvimos un evento. You, y todo you el día had... complicado. Oh my goodness. So it was a very tiring day. Yes, uh, I I think when I come to call, come to house, I I I wanna sleep, but I'm here tonight. Excellent, that's the attitude. I know that you are doing a great effort, so thank you for that. And let's do an effort, everyone. Look at the bright side. It's Friday, all right? So let's start the class. I hope you are ready to participate. I know, guys, that when it is Friday, you might feel tired. I know that you want to sleep. I know, but let's try. Let's try, okay? If you participate, if you talk, um, you will have, uh, you will feel like the class is shorter, okay? But if you don't talk, if you don't participate, you will feel that the class is longer, okay? So let's try to participate. So welcome everybody. Oh, I can see only Carlos. Thank you, Carlos, for having the camera on. How are you, Carlos? <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. Excellent. I'm great. Thanks for asking. And okay. and the uh, other it's one. Uh -huh. It's it's falling thunder. Thunders. Yes. Yeah. So that's something I, good. Maybe it's I, going to rain. <laughs> I hope it's. No problem with connection. <laughs> yes, I hope so. Uh, I, I expect that it can rain, but after the class. <laughs> okay, so you don't have problems <laughs> okay. with the internet or anything like that. Okay. okay, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the class. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Uh huh. Any plans? No plans for the weekend? Ah, work on the platform, right? Work on the platform, study English. Another plan for the weekend? Sleep. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to work? Uh, why, what? Repeat, please. Oh, do you have to work on weekend? No, no. Almost Saturday, tomorrow. Ah, but, okay. But, but not working this weekend. Okay, good for you. All right. Well, everyone, I hope that you can enjoy your weekend. Okay. Basically, guys, a uh, the next week will be like the last one, right? So it's almost vacation. Will you have vacations in August? Yes, teacher. Ah, very good. Two weeks off. <laughs> That's great. Yes, <laughs> we, need, we need vacation, teacher. <laughs> Absolutely. I totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah. or, I or guess. Do, I guess you, you need vacation too. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> totally, yeah. totally. It's, it's necessary. Necessary. Right. It is. Already. It is. Already. Definitely. All right. So everybody, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for the effort. As I said, I know that you might be tired, but let's try to participate a lot. Okay, so you can feel that the class is 
shorter, okay? Let me start sharing the presentation. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Mm, so you don't remember? We saw, we, we saw. Of results. Ah, very good transitions of results. Carlos? Eh, característica of leader. Mm -hmm. We review with that. Yes, pretty good. Okay, let's start. Let me share the presentation. Give me one second. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, thank you. So guys, today is July 21st. Basically, we are about to finish July's month. And we are in the week number four. Today, basically, we are finishing the week number four. Okay, and this is the topic for today. Provide suggestions to solve common issues related to warehouse processes. So we are going to check some problems, some issues that we can find in the warehouse. And the idea is to provide suggestions, okay? This is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Thank you, go ahead. Class objective. objective. Participants will be able to describe what do you, what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. Thank you. So that is exactly what we will do. So today, guys, we are going to stop thinking in simple past and we're going to start thinking about future. So the idea, guys, is that we can be experts in all the grammar tenses, okay? In past, in present, in future. So let's start practicing future tense. But before that, let's review a, a little bit fast the topics that we studied yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking about transitions of result. Can you give me some examples of the transitions of result that we studied yesterday? Which ones do you remember? Uh-huh. Consequently. Consequently, yes. As an a consequent. Mm -hmm. um, hence. Yes. As a result. As a result. And there is a few guys. Very poor. Very good. What else? Because All right. Please. For this reason. Okay, okay. Now, if we are writing the transitions, what do we need to keep in mind when we are writing? Mm -hmm. Do I need to... Punctuation. Punctuation. Yes. If, if we use... Um, semicolon or or point yes yeah. correct and if you see guys this is just like a summary of some of the transitions of results remember when we are speaking i mean there is no problem right but when we are writing we need to remember that we need to use the correct punctuation now, remember that the transitions of result, they join two sentences, the problem or the action and then the result or the consequence, okay? 
Um, is there any question about the meaning of these transitions or are they clear? Are they clear? Yes? Teacher, I don't yeah. remember the meaning of therefore. Thank you, okay. Everybody help him. Do you remember what the meaning is? Anyone? No? Por lo tanto. Yes, that is the meaning. Okay, when you can say por lo tanto, Thank right? You. Por tal motivo. So that is the meaning. All right. Now, guys, let's practice these transitions of result. Let's start the class talking. Okay. I want you to think about a problem. Okay. Any kind of problem that you have. I mean, it can be real or you can invent. Okay. No problem. You can invent. Invent a problem. Tell your classmates the problem that you have and your classmates will give you advice. Okay, your classmate will give you suggestions about how you can solve that problem. But the idea is that you need to use the transitions of result. Okay, you have to use them. I will give you an example. This is a problem, right? Imagine that this is an issue. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Who wants to read? Thank you, go ahead. I don't know what to do. I have a new job. It is very difficult. And my manager is too strict. strict. He doesn't show show me how to do the process. Consequently, I make mistakes. I try to ask him for help, but never clarify my questions. Thank you. Okay, imagine this problem. So imagine that your classmate is, is suffering this situation. Hmm. Now give him advice, give him a solution a suggestion is about how can he resolve the issue. It's Any a ideas? It's a difficult situation for the employee. Find <laughs> <Employee. laughs> another yes. job. <laughs> okay, give him <laughs> suggestions, <laughs> but listen, you have to give a suggestion and try to include these ones, okay? okay. So find a new job, why? Explain, uh, give a complete advice. Reasons. Okay. Therefore. So you can say, hey, okay, find a new job. If you continue in that job, you will feel frustrated. And as a result, you will continue doing bad your job. So let's look for another one. Okay, what else? Suggestions, what else? Give him advice. Maybe uh, he can ask uh, to co-worker if they, if he have, uh, what do the work and okay. consequently uh, the, the job maybe is better. Mm, sounds good, sounds good. Now look at this one. This is exactly what I want you to do, okay? Think about a problem. When you are explaining the problem, you had to try to use the transitions. Okay, explain the problem. If you see in this exercise, hmm, what is the transition that I used? Look. Consequently. Mm -hmm. So when you are explaining your problem to your classmate, use a transition. 
And if you paid attention to your classmate, Lorena, when she was giving the solution, she also used a transition. So that is what you have to do right now. Is it clear, the activity? Yes? Uh, teacher, I had a, a question. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, in the sign uh, an, an effect where it says because of this, I, I, I think it's trying to say something else, but not uh, grammatically. What do you mean? Uh, because of this, I don't know if it has another mean. Well, if you say because of uh, because of this, is that your question? That the meaning of because of this? Yes, teacher. Because uh, when we read uh, something, you say uh, don't translate it as as is right, ah. and I don't know if this is the, the same. Yeah, in this case, guys, if you translate it literally, it will be like, porque de esto, right? Does it make sense? Okay. okay. No, right? We yeah. cannot translate it literal. So in this case, the best translation, it will be like, por lo tanto, debido a esto, por ello, right? That is a better translation for because of this, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Is there any other question, guys, about the transitions? No? Okay, invent a situation, please. Invent a problem. It can be a problem in your job or a problem in your life, a problem that you have with your friends. I don't know, any kind of problem. Okay, and go and ask your classmates for advice. So everybody try to give good advice, okay? Don't give bad suggestions. We only have five minutes for this activity. I expect that everybody participates, okay? Uh, remember, full English, not Spanish. Let me just create the groups. Everybody, please enter. Enter to the breakup rooms. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I have some people that it says that they are listeners. Okay. Remember guys, if you are not going to be listener, please erase the word listener, okay? Let's go to the breakup rooms, five minutes. Speak only in English, please. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Jose. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. I hope you are right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I, I need to to create, create a, a bad situation. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you can imagine uh, invent uh, uh, however okay I have a friend who criticized me a lot what I can do uh, can you repeat please I have a friend who yes. criticized me a lot what okay. I can what? do what, what is, is the name? consequently uh, Salvador? Excuse me? What is the consequently uh, that your friends criticize you? I'm sorry, what is the mean criticize criti this word? I don't understand this word. What is the mean? Critica. Can you explain? Critica. Critica. Ah, okay, okay. 
Thanks. But uh, Kevin asked ask you, what is the consequence for you? Is your, is your friend to do something bad for you? What is the, what happened, what happened with you? I, I feel bad. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I recommend you, I recommend you uh, something, something very short. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can, you can listen your friends critic and how do you say critic critic what is the word criticize criticize you, 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 can, you can you can you can hear 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 you your friends criticans or uh, about you but if you but you you have to to be a secure person you have to, I, I don't know, how, how do you say seguro? Seguro sure. de ti. Sure. You have to be a sure person, a mm. sure people yes. about you. Because you because if you uh, are sure about you are, about you know, uh, no matter the, the, the people or the friends, uh, say whatever whatever right uh, uh, hence hence uh, <laughs> consequently consequently consequent you 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 can feel better yes don't 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 give don't give it important importance uh the, this crit critic this situation <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't I don't use uh, no. more words, but I, I give you my idea. Thank you, excellent advice. Okay. Yeah. In my case, I think about that, but he criticized you. He's not your friend. Yes. Yes. Um, you have to avoid to frequency. Him and um, I know uh, you have to take a distance with him. Okay, that is I am, I am agree uh, about Edwin says said because I think you you don't you don't you don't you don't you don't, you don't give value it, value it, the, this this friend because these friends uh, speak uh, bad things about you. Uh, uh, no, don't are your friends. Yes. Uh, Salvador, in, in my opinion, or my my suggestion, my suggestion is that you can take distance about these persons, uh, because maybe the words can affect us and some days and if you take a distance you you uh, won't hear this word and it is my suggestion really in you uh, how uh, could be listen uh, every every member about how 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 does he feel uh, 
today or etc to make a, a relationship uh, or a link I don't know what is the correct but uh, when you make this link uh, the situation is other people yeah. uh, begin uh, uh, begin to trust in in you and they tell us uh, all of happens with they okay my turn it's my turn for for my problem <laughs> okay. my problem is that i want to ask for our salary increase <laughs> <laughs> give me the best solutions the best advice uh, the best advice okay i think that you have to that you have to um someone someone saved me uh one time that when you want to to ask for a, for um to increase salary your increase. salary yes mm -hmm. uh, you had to to propose something something useful to your to your yeah to your boss to your company as so give give them like a solution and exactly. become, and become a, a, I don't know how to say indispensable I don't know how mm -hmm. to say it. That you indispensable. important um... Ind indispensable. Yes, okay. it's correct. Okay, thank you. And become indispensable uh, um, in your area or give that solution mm. that they need, so you can you can go that way with your with your manager. Like um, you are you are the best person to to do that thing and you can ask for uh, a little increment because um, as a result you are given a, a solution and they are going to consider you for for that for what you want. That's my advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I have done, been done doing since last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Next, next, next. Who else? Sorry, Diaz. Can you repeat your problem, please? Uh, uh, the, the don't same. listen. Don't listen. Uh, Doesn't let you uh, do the do the exercise no yes so uh, i think that could be like my suggestion you should have to talk with him mm -hmm. and and ask for a training uh, so uh, you will have a, a better result okay and carlos in my case uh, i will suggest you uh the meeting with the boss and you uh, you ex ex explain the problem uh, uh, mm, is is not fault and you uh, of the two part maybe show with the 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 part that is bad could be and explain him why it is not it's not a the is good mm -hmm. okay only that carlos uh, 
I I I will leave. I will the meeting with my boss. I I will I will explain the problem, but uh, for the change, but uh, the consequence. Uh, uh, you mis uh, you mistake is the change the change the situation um, no 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 you will make mistake i will meeting with the boss okay <laughs> and and he just Kevin, do it. Kevin, do it. And, and I, and conse as uh, consequently, I, I feel so nervous and maybe my. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I understand. I, I do uh, my task uh, very nervous and maybe I, as a conse uh, consequently, I do mistakes some days. And, yes. and my boss. Kevin, what happened with this work with with this task? And I I feel so so nervous. Mm -hmm. I I think that you you both have have a weak character. Of character. He has a problem, not you. He must respect you. Keep calm. And. Hey. Sigue adelante. No sé cómo decir sigue adelante. Go ahead, go keep, keep. Mm. Hey, what, what is you the character say, keep, about me? You can say keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. What, is, what is the character of my boss about weak? Uh, how do you spell weak. it? Weak. Devil. Devil. My classmate, uh, uh, the, the truth is in, in, in this case, okay. uh, look at me. Uh, this situation is very common in 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 in, in a work. It's very common, uh, but boss uh, uh, speaking higher. Uh, it's very common, but it, it's necessary. The employee uh, stop him in his, in 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 in, 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 in say saying. Don't 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 speak higher. It's necessary. Uh, yes. Well, uh, I have um my team and uh some time I I give them a uh, instruction and I give. Uh, please help me do this task, please. And he didn't this task, this task. But when I when I say when I said, please do this task. Uh, it sounds uh, golpeado. So it's when uh, golpeado. Uh, but okay, you it, can say it sounds rude because it sounds uh, golpeado. It doesn't have a, the same meaning in English. Okay, it sounds rude, but mm -hmm. in this situation, my team uh, do the task. But when I say, please help me do the task, he doesn't, he don't the uh, the task i agree with you osman it's necessary sometimes 
is yes, big. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, I understand. I understand because uh, many, many employees don't 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 say nothing because uh, you, you fear, you you fear fear uh, for losing for losing your job, but you you don't have fear. You don't have you 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 don't need fear. You 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 need stop and say, excuse me, boss, I don't like you speak me loud or high. <laughs> if if I talk with my boss about the topic, uh, as a consequently, I I'm going I going I am not going to have work work. In the future, I, I know, I know, <laughs> mate, I, I know. It, 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 it is you stop and, and say that uh, your your boss maybe you you can lose in your your job, but it's not the only the only job. You, you can find your other job, yes. But uh, you 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 can you can no 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 puedes permitir. You can, uh, 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 you can uh, let hello hello. You can. You can let or you can allow. Mm -hmm. You can allow a bad, bad environment for you. Yes. Yes. This is my recommend. <laughs> okay, Osman, thank you. Um, or a scenario, what? Um, other other interesting situation <laughs> we don't have more time i'm sorry <laughs> teacher teacher it's exciting it's exciting I know. <laughs> and i was i was listening to the other teams and i was like oh chambre right <laughs> what, what, what do you think about the this team teacher teacher not all of In them English, some of them <laughs> yes edwin Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot In hear English. you. In English, please. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, gossip. A lot of gossiping <laughs> here. But no, look at this one. I like the way that you were trying to use your, uh, to help your classmate. Very good suggestions. I like it. I like it. Okay, but yeah, we don't have more time. So we need to go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Okay, time's up. Let's go back, everyone. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main room. Very interesting scenarios. All right, all right. Let's wait for your classmates. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Easy or easy or, or difficult to give suggestions, to give advice. What do you think? Uh, I, th uh, I think the scenarios uh, that uh, I speak with my classmate was interesting and was a real situation. It's very common. I know. It's very common in or or company or job, uh, many jobs. Unfortunately, but right? <gasps> I'm sorry, guys. The lights went out. Uh, Hi, good night, bye. Good night, bye. Ah, no, 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 too late. Come around, come on, 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 come
I have the camera. I have the camera <laughs> okay. on. I'm sorry. The light the, the light went out. But I have the camera on. Can you see me? Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Right now, right now. Where have you been, teacher? <laughs> but over here, I mean, the internet was gone. The light uh, also was gone, but now I'm back. <laughs> so thank you. Thanks for right. staying. What happens, guys? I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but here in my city is raining a lot. Don't worry, teacher. No problem. So, but I know no that problem. you stay here practicing, right? We understand. We, un we, we understand. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, but no Spanish, right? In that moment that I was gone, never, no Spanish. Never. 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 You can try little... now. Someone say, passing a sticker. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, thanks for the, uh, Elias is very honest. Thank you, Elias. Okay, did you receive good advice from your classmates? Yes or not? Mm, so, so. <laughs> okay. Guys, and you, do you receive good suggestions, good advice? Yes. Yes, yes? okay. Yes. I was listening, guys, very difficult situations. I was an interesting problems over there. I don't know if they are real or you are inventing, but they are very interesting. Now, did your classmate use the transitions? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. All yes. of them? Yes. Okay, pretty good. I like the way that you were trying to give suggestions to your classmates. Now, as always, guys, there are little details that we need to keep in mind. Okay? For example, how can I say teacher. this? Teacher, yes? the attendant. Yes, I'm going to check it after explaining these issues. Thank you. No worries. Okay, this is a vocabulary that we studied yesterday, if you remember. How can I say this one? Look. Self-assured. Self-assured. Okay, so for example, I say, uh, you need to be self-assured or you need to be confident. Okay? Now, can I say, I am agree. No. No. I agree. What is the correct one? Ah, I agree. correct. We don't need it here. Can I say, said me? Say to me. Ah, very good. Said to me. Okay, we need to separate them. One time. Can I say one time? Once. Yes or no? Ah, instead of saying one time, we have to say once. once. Okay, like this. Oops, once. Okay. I will meeting. Can I say that? I will meeting. Yes or no? No. What is the correct one? No. Meeting base form. Ah, so the correct one is I will meet. Meet. I do mistake. Hmm, can I say that? I do mistake. I make. Yes. In English, we have like colloquial expressions that are phrases that are like already established. So we cannot say I do mistake. We say, I make, okay? I make mistakes. Now, I was listening to some of your classmates. Imagine that if a person is speaking out loud when he's talking to you. So we can say like, me está gritando, right? So there are two expressions. For example, we have um, speak out. Speak out is a person that is like alzando la voz. 
Okay? Not necessarily like gritar, but it's speaking out loud. Now, on the other hand, it's, it's just like a uh, complaint. Mm, not necessarily. It's speak out is just like alzar la voz. Es, es como hablar más fuerte, hablar más alto. Not necessarily because he's angry. Okay. Okay. In my company, it's speak out is used uh, when you are not a uh, conform and you may, uh, because this, this company is uh, international. Uh -huh. So uh, this company has a number where you can call and, and complain when what you are not a uh, conform. So exactly. It, it says it's, you, you can make a speak up, call this number phone. Because exactly, because it's what we mean. In another context, we can say like, alzar la voz is like, hey, you need to speak out. Es como, no te dejes, right? Háblalo, speak out. So that is another meaning for that one. But if you want to say that the person is like directamente gritándote, entonces no decimos speak out. We say yell. Okay, and I'm going to show you a picture. Look at this picture. <laughs> uh huh. What is the word here? I can say, he, what is he doing? He is yelling. Okay, it is gritando. We can say <clears throat> he's screaming. Mm, what happens is that there's a difference, guys. If you say you scream, mean? scream is gritar, but most of the time es cuando tenemos miedo, right? In this case, uh, yelling is when they are uh, in, a, in an argument. Yes. Yelling es más que todo cuando decimos que me está gritando en una discusión. All right? That is yelling. Scream. Es gritar, yes, pero se usa más en el contexto de cuando tenemos miedo, de cuando nos asustamos y es como, ah, right? So that is scream. Is it clear the difference between yell and scream? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Yes? Very yes. good. Yes. So in English, guys, remember that for one word, we can have different words because it's depending on the context. That is what English is a little bit more difficult than Spanish because in Spanish, gritar is like gritar. It doesn't matter the context, but in English it's dependent on the context that the verb will be different, okay? So okay. inside of a discussion, can I use scream or yell? Jerk. Yes. Jerk. That yeah. is the one. Yeah. Okay. He don't did the task. He didn't the task. He ah. didn't do the task. He didn't do the task. In this case, it's simple past, right? So don't never. So we have to say he didn't mm. do, do the, the task. task. But if it is in simple present, can I say he don't? Can I say that? No, it, teacher. It doesn't. It could doesn't. be he doesn't do that. That is the one. Exactly. Pretty good job. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, I'm going to check attendance. Uh, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. Boris? No? Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. All right. Eulice Torres. Okay. I think he's listener. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here. Okay. Josman Atilio. Josman Atilio. Okay. 
Eh, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Ok. Nelson Alberto. Present. Ok. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present. Very good. Santiago Roberto. Ok. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Ok, excellent. Um, can you hear me very well? Yes. Ok, perfect. If you cannot listen to me very well, please let me know because is it raining very strong? And I don't know if my connection can fail. Ok, please let me okay. know. Ok, let's continue. Now, we are going to discuss another topic. That is the topic that we need to discuss today. Issues in a warehouse management. Ok, so look at this picture. Do you think that we have an issue here in this warehouse? What do you think? The teacher is arrugada. Uh, yes, definitely. Look at his face. <laughs> is he happy or worried? He's preoccupied. Also, he... we, we, need, we need to put order. Uh, or... <laughs> Look at the boxes. I mean, it yes, looks. The boxes is not in order. Totally disorganized. So look, in a warehouse, we can have different issues and we need to see a, a way to resolve it. Okay. So here we have some issues. Okay. That we can have in a warehouse management. One of the first issue, and please take note of the vocabulary because we are going to use it. Inaccurate receipts and purchase order. What is that, guys? What do you think? What is the meaning of inaccurate receipts? Uh, it's uh -huh. not exactly in the receipt the order the purchase purchase as a, orders as a consequence mm -hmm. the teacher yes in this case i think we have a problem with uh with an r uh right well quantity <laughs> ah, because okay. right quantity because uh, in this case uh, the quantity is not correct. The quantity is not right. Okay. Yes, it's not right. It's not right. So imagine, guys, if imagine that right now you are the manager. Okay. Today, everybody, all of you are managers. Okay. Imagine that you have a warehouse and suddenly you have inaccurate receipts in your purchases orders. So how can you resolve this issue? What will you do? Uh-huh. I don't receive the, the product, teacher. You don't receive the product if you have inaccurate receipts? Mm-hmm. Another way to solve this issue, guys? What will you do? Imagine that you're the manager. How can you resolve this issue? What do you think? Any idea? No idea? All right, so imagine if we have inaccurate receipts, well, we need to identify the mistake. We need to check all the receipts. We need to check all the bills and let's find out the mistake. And let's see if we can resolve it and receive the refund, okay? Another issue that we can have in a warehouse management is the lack 
of communications between the employees. What is that? What is the meaning of lack of communication between employees? What do you think? When they oh. doesn't, when they don't understand between them. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. When the message uh, lost in in the uh, in the process, maybe when is uh, from one people to other people. Exactly. And as a result, what happens if we have lack of communication? What do you think? Can we do the job correctly? No, I have a problem with the process. Correct. So have you ever had lack of communication, guys, between your coworkers? Yes or not? Yes. Yes? Okay. Between the departments, right? And that is the other one. Look, sometimes we have issues with lack of communication or lack of cooperation between the departments. What does it mean, the lack of cooperation between departments? What is that? Uh -huh. Any idea? Everybody, let's participate. I know that is Friday, but let's give me your opinion. What do you understand for lack of cooperation between departments? Well, for another, for wherever problem, they don't want help on other departments, mm -hmm. on other departments. Yes, sometimes it seems that they are rivals, right? That they don't get along each other. I don't know why. Have you ever had this problem in your company that some departments don't cooperate each other? What do you think? This topic is very common uh, in, in, in the companies. Uh, consequently, uh, the company can can't mm -hmm. uh, get the goal. They can get the goals. That's totally yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some departments are working very hard, but the other departments are like, ah, they don't care, right? So. Those are issues that we can find not only in a warehouse, but also in all the companies, okay? Lack of cooperation. Okay, then another issue that we can have is warehouse space and organization. So what do you think, guys? What is that? Mm -hmm. Warehouse space and organization. Do you have this problem in your company? Yes or no? Teacher, in my company, we don't have uh, enough space mm. from our warehouse because our product is volume. Volume? volume and when we have many volume in the pro in the final pro mm -hmm. our warehouse is full oh and, and our process of warehouse said please uh, sell the pro the final pro because we don't have enough space and in some days, uh, our product is uh, uh, got rotten. Get rotten in, in in the warehouse. Oh my gosh! 
That is a huge problem. Yes, teacher, but uh, maybe if you if you want buy a space is very expensive. A lot. Yes, that's true. How about you guys? Do you have in the my, same problem? In my point of view, uh, in a warehouse, you should take advantage of the space to the maximum. Mm -hmm. And because of this, uh, order the product in the order that it will be delivered. Uh -huh. delivered. Um, maybe, for example. That's true. That's true. Especially if the warehouse is not so big, they have to be very careful, right, with the organization of the space. Very good. Very good. Okay, another issue that we can have is time management. So what do you think, guys? What is the meaning of time management and why is that a problem? What do you think? Maybe we have two situations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One is when the manager uh, uh, wants authorize the little details and is uh, always is um, como en, encima de, de la gente. On the people? On the people and the people are uh, stressful. And the other case is when the manager don't have time and uh, the process is more slow. It is. It is a slower. Mm -hmm. Do you have that issue in your companies, guys? Yes. Yes. And you guys, do you have an issue with the um, time management? No. No? My boss trusts in me. <laughs> okay. Another idea, guys, for time management? Uh, in my company, teacher, um, this, this happens on uh, in operation areas sometimes that mm -hmm. uh, if the if the manager um, is doesn't on the people <laughs> uh, the process is is wrong or some or someone make a mistake it is right so all the time they need to keep an eye on them yes. right mm -hmm. so imagine we have different issues guys when we are talking about warehouse there are different issues that we can have. And again, this is not only in the warehouse. This is, I think that in all companies, okay? We are dealing with deadlines. Remember what we talked about yesterday, unreal or unexpected. So those are some deadlines that we cannot get, okay? But now talking about these issues, Again, I want you to imagine, guys, that you are the managers. Right now, you start as a manager, and I want you to imagine that you are the manager from a, where, a, a warehouse. And I have here the different problems, the different issues. I want you guys to rank the issues, okay, from one to five. One is the least important, okay? And five is the most important, is the ones that affects more the productivity. So which of this one do you think is the problem that affects more the productivity in your warehouse? What do you think? In your opinion, which of these ones affects more the productivity in your warehouse? Time management could be, I don't know, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. for you can be the time management. Okay, that is number, that is the number five. And how about you guys? Another idea? 
um, space in organization. Space and organization. That is the number five for you. Wait, uh, five is most affects. Es el que más ah. afecta la productividad. Okay, lack of communication between employees. Okay, so for you, that is the number five. What else? How about you guys? Another number five. I agree with with the lack of communication because because if if the people if the team <clears throat> doesn't communicate the process and all the tasks get, can can be wrong so you they can they can't um do the the objectives they can get the objectives okay. mm -hmm. yes Okay, that's a good point. Who else? Do you agree, guys, with lack of communications or lack of, oh, I'm sorry, time management? Or do you have warehouse another space, option? Teacher. Warehouse space for me, teacher. For you is warehouse space. Why? Uh, for Because in my company, we don't have a space for our, because our, pro, our product is a uh, volume volume mm -hmm. yeah and as you mentioned right it's very expensive so it is not so easy to go and say ah we are going to buy more space it's very expensive definitely another opinion guys which of for these me, problems for mm -hmm. me teacher lack of cooperation between departments why because, uh, in, in my company, it, it's happened happen frequently. Really? Because, uh, yes, because, uh, wow, it is raining very, very, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I can listen to you, no worries. Okay, Tell me. Okay. Uh, because uh, uh, at, at the at department, can give the service of the other department yes mm -hmm. for example for example i i am working a long time in floor production mm -hmm. for this reason we need a, a lot a, the planning the, the department planning or the planning department if the if planning department a, don't don't do a good job, uh, production fails, fails. Fails. Because, fails. because if one fails, uh, we, we, or, or fight, fails, fails, fights. How do you say, teacher? Fails. Fails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we can, be more strong like more david weak weak yes so we can say weaker más débil weaker. Is weaker or weaker. stronger okay. Mm -hmm. okay that's interesting now you have mentioned guys that these are like the actions or the issues that affect more the productivity okay how can we resolve it for example imagine i am the manager and i say you know what guys i need your advice i, I know that you are managers too so maybe you can help me in my warehouse i have um, a um, lack of cooperations between departments how can I resolve that issue? Can you give me advice? Uh huh. You are managers. Tell me, how can we resolve this issue? The lack of cooperation between departments. Any idea? Maybe uh, uh, we can um, have a meeting with a coordinator of department 
mm -hmm. and try to improve the communication. I like that. If you give me ideas, guys, I will give you a salary increment. So right now to Lorena, I will increment a hundred dollars. Okay, because she already gave me an idea. Another suggestions to resolve the lack of cooperation between departments. Give me ideas and I will increase a hundred dollars monthly. Oh my, it's my opportunity. Go um, ahead. <laughs> Maybe I will try to use email like a, um, the main channel of communication in, between department. And in that uh, case, um, oh, sorry. Uh, um, because of this, um, um, I will recognize the problem. Um, mm. and and maybe who is the person or or the department that that cannot communicate uh, the uh, or in the good form okay and maybe it's just one person that cannot um cooperate cooperate with the others Exactly. Could be, right? So we need to find out. Okay, good idea. Take your salary increment. <laughs> Another zero. <laughs> ah, give me more suggestions and I will give you more. <laughs> okay, now, very good. I like the idea. Now, imagine that I don't have issues with the cooperation between departments, but you know what, guys? For my warehouse, Oh, the warehouse space and organization is bad. I don't know how can I resolve this issue because I don't have money to, I mean, to buy more space. So what can I do to resolve it? What do you think? Mm -hmm. If you have a warehouse space and organization, what will you do? Any idea? Yes. Uh -huh. um, first, uh, you need to create an inventory. Mm -hmm. uh, the second, you when you have an inventory, you need to to left the things uh, that uh, doesn't uh, doesn't useful. Okay and put put into the warehouse uh, the things that you need to use in the future mm -hmm. or in the moment etc and the one that is not useful to the trash yeah okay or sell okay take it <laughs> One hundred dollars for you too. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So look at this one. The idea is that, guys, that we can recognize some issues, but the idea is that we can try to resolve it. Okay. So in this case, you already mentioned that the number five. These ones are like the ones that affect more the productivity. Now the opposite. Tell me which one is the number one. What do you think that is the least important? Which of these ones for you is the ones that, mm, it doesn't affect the productivity? What do you think? For you, which one is the number one? Lack of communication between the employers. Between the employees. Why do you think that it doesn't affect? Because is um is most how do you say visible? Is visible, visible. Is most visible, mm -hmm. uh, or more easy to recognize the the problem? Because mm -hmm. when two people don't connect correctly, it's 
It's very, very... Obvious. Obvious. Okay, that's a good point. How about you guys? Do you agree or do you have another idea? Uh-huh. Okay, nobody is talking about the inaccurate receipts. Do you think that the inaccurate receipts are not so important? It's not going to affect the productivity? What do you think? Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Elias wants another $100. I like it. Uh-huh. Tell me, that's tell me. A, that, 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 uh, that's a, that be my problem in the another practice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So guys, what do you think about the receipts? Is that a problem that affects productivity or not? It's not so important. Yes, it's important, but mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, less probably that uh, make it mm -hmm. and is maybe more uh, no is easier controlling it and okay. if uh, have the other points maybe this is less probable that uh, uh, make it. okay that happens that's true pretty good Okay, look at this one. I like to see your opinion, guys. Again, thanks so much for the one who always participates. And the other ones that are not talking so much, please, let's try. Let's try to participate. Now, when we have issues with productivity, when we have issues, guys, in general, we need to find out a solution. Okay, so what happens if you have lack of cooperation between departments? What will you do? Or A, what happens if you don't have a space in your warehouse? What will you do to resolve it? So in order to find out solutions, we are going to use a topic. And this topic is the first conditional. Have you ever listened to this topic? The first conditional? No, teacher. No? Okay, we are going to study that. The first condition, as guys, basically is when you give a problem and then you give the solution, okay? For the first conditional, we are going to use, look, future. Do you remember the use of will? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, everybody, do you remember? Yes. Okay, will is for future, okay? Mm, but this will, guys, is more for possible future, possibilities. So this is not like 100% guaranteed. It's just like hypothetic, okay? It's not so certain. So when we are using future, what is the structure that I need? I need the subject. I need, in this case, the auxiliary or the modal that is will. And what happens with the verb? In Do form, I need? In normal form. In the basic form. Okay, I don't need any changes in the verb. Now, imagine in this case, do I need a preposition to, to separate them? Like, I will to cook. Do I need a preposition? No, because mm -hmm. will is a modal verb. Correct. I don't need a preposition. How about if I'm talking in third person? Do I need changes in the verb? Like, she wills cook or she will cooks. Do I need changes in third person? Yes or no? No. 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 We don't need changes. And that is something great and easy, right? Because it doesn't matter if you are talking in third person. The structure is exactly the same. 
And remember that the verb is always in the basic form. We cannot say, I will cooking. Mm -hmm. Never. Ah, you will cooking. No. We cannot add changes in the verb. Now, if I want to say it in negative, what do I need to do? Do I need to add another auxiliary? Yes or no? Look. I will. I will say just want. And what is the meaning of want? Want is just the contraction of will not. Okay, so you can say, I will not cook. Or in a contracted form, we say just, I won't. I won't cook. Clear? Understood? Can I say, can I say, I don't will cook? No, no, never, right? Yeah. So imagine if I ask you, okay, guys, what will you do this weekend? I will. That's a funny. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to work. Okay. I will work. I, will I work. want rest. I um. I will rest. You said? No. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to rest. Oh, that's pretty sad. Very, okay. Very sad. <laughs> How about you guys? What would but, you do? But then, but the next, the, the next week, I will rest all the weekend. Yeah. All the week, right? All the week. Yeah. Literally. Good. Good. <laughs> okay, and you guys, what will you do uh, next weekend? Or let's think about vacation. Now that he's talking about vacation, what will you do on vacation? Mm -hmm. Any plans I for vacation? <laughs> you will sleep, sleep every single day? I mean, only, the only first sleep? first three days, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and you guys, tell me, what will you do on vacations? Maybe I will, I will watch the movie. You will watch movies. Sounds good. I will paint my house. Nice. Okay. Uh huh. What else? Another one. Let's participate, everyone. Wake up, wake me, up. Uh huh. Me again. I Go will ahead. climb Ilamatepec. Well, the I Ila Ilamatepec volcano. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Okay. I, I share the picture. I promise. Do it. Okay. Share it. I will see it. Okay. Really nice. Now imagine, guys. Well, today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. So, what will you do tomorrow? Uh huh. Tell me. What will you do tomorrow? I will. I will work tomorrow. Oh. I, no, I will. No, I. I want work tomorrow. Ah, very good. Okay. Want, very good. And you guys, what will you do tomorrow? I will. I will... <laughs> okay, Pamela and then Lorena, go ahead. I will celebrate the, um, the birthday of one of my friends. Okay. Uh, in Ataco. Hey, sounds a good plan. Okay. And Lorena, how about you? I will cook to my mother for her birthday. Oh, tomorrow is your mom's birthday? Yes. Wow, congratulations to her. <laughs> Very good. Okay, any other plans for tomorrow? What will you do, guys? 
or in negative, tell me something that you won't do tomorrow. Uh -huh. I won't wake up early. <laughs> okay, very good. And you guys, tell me something that you won't do. I won't go I to the walk. beach. You won't go to the beach? Okay. Uh huh. Who else? Uh huh. You won't have classes, for example, right? Now, that is the structure of future. Any questions so far, guys, about the structure of will? Or is it totally clear? Yes, is it clear? Yes, okay. yes. it's clear. All right, now, why do we need to know the structure of will? When we are talking about conditional, guys, the first conditional, we are going to use the structure of will. I need a volunteer, please, for reading this little concept. Me. Yes, go ahead. The first conditional is used, used to talk about things that might possibly happen in the future. Thank for you. example, if, mm -hmm. if it rains, he will bring his umbrella. If it rains, he won't play outside. Very good. Now, remember, when we are talking about the first conditional, this is for possibilities, okay? Possibly activities. It's not 100% guaranteed. That's why we use will. Can I use be going to for the first conditional? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Can I use be going to? Like, ah, if it, it rains, he is going to bring his umbrella. Can I say that? Yes or no? Yes. Are you sure? No, we have to use will. Exactly. I know, guys, that be going to is for future, but in the first conditional, we cannot use it. Remember that be going to is more for plans. In this case, we are not talking about plans. We are talking about possibilities, okay? So we always use will. In the first conditional, guys, be careful with the structure, okay? In the first conditional, the first things that we need is the word if, okay? That is the first things that we need. Then we need two sentences. The first sentence or clause is going to be like the problem, okay? Uh, it can be a problem, it can be an action, or the condition, okay? Is the problem or the action that is happening in the moment, okay? And then I need punctuation. What do I need here? Coma. A coma. Now, if you pay attention, the sentence says, if it rains, what is the grammar tense? Is in future, is in present, or is in past? Mm -hmm. It's a future because, mm. because it is not raining yet. Mm, but look at the structure. Do I have will? In this case, is present. It's simple present. Okay, I know maybe it's not raining yet, but look at the structure. I don't have the auxiliary wheel. Okay, I just have the sentence in simple present. So again, the first thing that I need is the word if. Then I need another sentence in simple present. That sentence explains the problem or the action or the condition. 
After that, I need another sentence. The other sentence represent the result or the reaction. The second sentence will be in future using will. For example, if it rains, what will happen if it rains? What do you think? What will happen? He will bring his umbrella. Exactly. Just imagine, guys, let's see some other sentences. Tell me what will happen. For example, imagine, um, <laughs> imagine that you find, well, I'm going to write it. If you find $100 on the street, okay? <laughs> Look at this one. That is the condition. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to write I so you can complete the sentence. Okay, guys? If you find $100, what will you do? I will take this money, those, this money. <laughs> you will take it, of course. And what will you do with the money? I will I buy will go to the store to buy okay. food, clothes, and other things. Okay, so I will go to the store, I will buy food, I will buy clothes. What else, guys? Complete the sentence. If I find a hundred dollars on the street, I will. Uh huh. Okay. If I don't listen, I will ask individually. Uh huh. If I find one hundred on the street, I will go to the movie. <laughs> go to the. I go. I will go to the cinema. Ah, very good. And which movie will you see? If I find one hundred dollar on the street, I will buy a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes a sounds of good. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Now imagine, guys. Um, let's see. Complete the sentence. If I, um, I don't know. If I can't sleep tonight, uh huh. I will. What do you think? If I, I will... can. Wake, wake up very late. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> if I can sleep very uh, tonight, I will wake up very late. What else? I will feel, if I can sleep tonight, I will feel tired tomorrow. Definitely, very good. Uh-huh, any other idea? If I can't sleep tonight, I will finish my favorite series. Ah, for a moment I thought that he will say I will finish the platform. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, believe me, for a moment I thought that he will say I will finish the platform. Okay. But for $200, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Now look at this, guys. We have the two sentences. Okay, the first sentence is starts with if. Pay attention here because the sentence that is in simple present is the sentence that has the word if. Okay, that sentence is like the action, and the reaction is in the second sentence. And the second sentence always has to be in future, okay? Remember, we can use it in affirmative or in negative. 
So you can say, okay, if I can sleep, instead of saying I will, we can say I want. Ah, uh, if I can't sleep tonight, I want a uh, wake up early. Okay? Or we can use affirmative. I will wake up late. We can use both affirmatives and negatives. So is it clear the structure of the first conditional, everyone? Yes. yes teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now look at this one. We can switch the order and the meaning is exactly the same. For example, I can start the sentence with the sentence like if, if it rains, ta, 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 ta. But also guys, I can switch the order, okay? And I can start with the result. For example, he will bring his umbrella if, it rains, okay? But the meaning is exactly the same. It doesn't change. Now, if you start the sentence with the future and I put the word if in the middle, do I need a comma? Yes or no? What do you think? Can you see a comma over here? No, 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 because the word, uh -huh, the word if is working as the connector, okay? So if you review the previous sentence, your classmate says, okay, if I can't sleep, um, I will wake up late. Perfect. How can I say that sentence if I switch the order? Mm -hmm. Si le cambio el orden, how can I, I say that? Wake up late if I can sleep. Perfect. Exactly. So we can say it in both ways, and the order is the same, the meaning is the same. Got it? Yes. Any questions so far, everyone? Okay, if you don't have questions, let's have a practice. I'm going to show you some sentences. Tell me what will be the first conditional here. For example, says, if not hurry, be late. Which of these sentences is going to be in simple present? Not hurry or be late? Uh-huh, which sentence is in simple present? This or this? Be late. If, sorry. <laughs> okay, we have two options. The rest of you guys, what do you think? Which sentence will be in simple present? ¿Cuál es la oración que va en presente? If not hurry. The clause, if. If not hurry. The sentence with the word if, exactly. So in this case, the next sentence, be late, that will be in future. So the first conditional in this scenario will be, look at the picture. If he doesn't hurry, what will happen? If he doesn't hurry? He will, he be, will late. be late. He will be late, okay? Look at the next sentence. If Sonny ta, 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 have picnic, create the sentence in the first conditional. You need to add the subject, of course. What do you think? What would be the sentence here? If it is sunny, uh -huh. we'll have a picnic. Okay, look at this. If it is sunny, we will have a picnic. Now, guys, you can use contractions if you want. Instead of saying we will, we can say will. Okay? 
If it is sunny, we'll have a picnic. Pretty good, pretty good. Now look at the next sentence. What do you think? Volunteer or should I ask individually? Okay, let me ask individually. Maybe. Carlos, go ahead. If, if they go to the party. Uh-huh. Um, they will have fun. Yes. Okay, the exercise says you, but if you change the subject, it's fine. If they go to the party, they will have fun. Pretty good job. Carlos, pick someone, please. Pick one of your classmates. A victim. Okay. I'm sorry, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nelson. Hello. Okay, Nelson, what will be the sentence here? <gasps> if I win the lottery, uh -huh. I'll be rich. Ah, so imagine, guys, if you win the lottery, what will you do? I'll, uh -huh. I'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be very happy. I like that. Yeah. Okay. And you guys? I'll be, if, if I win the lottery, I will work in platform. <laughs> ah, okay. I expect that. How about you, everybody? If you win the lottery, what will you do with the money? If I win the lottery, I buy a new motorcycle. <laughs> okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's see. Um, Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. Rafa, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, Rafael, go ahead. For the Ducati. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. It's no sky. Mm. If if it snow, mm -hmm. I I I I will learn to sky. Uh, no, he no. he he will sky. Okay, the pronunciation is ski. Ski. Mm -hmm. He okay. will ski. Okay. In the Sounds good. Just don't forget that the first sentence is in simple present. So if you say, if it snow, can I say that? Or do I need changes? Uh, snows, okay? If snows. it snows, okay, he will ski. ski. Remember that ski is the name of the sport. If we say sky, like with Y, that means like the heaven, okay, yes. el cielo. So the pronunciation is different. Okay, pretty good guys. Excellent job with the first conditional. I like it. Now, I have some scenarios. Okay, and I want you guys to tell me what will you do in the next scenarios, but because I want to everybody participate, I will be asking individually. But first, I'm going to check attendance again. So, uh, Ana Lorena. Hello. Okay. Uh, it's the attendance. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Yeah. Boris Alexander. Is Boris there? No? Okay. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, Elias Neftali. Elias. 
Okay, he lost the $100. <laughs> no, el, el, I'm here, I'm here. Uh -huh. I'm here. Look, yeah. when I mentioned no, the my... money, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Eulise is think? listener. Let's see, Jose Salvador. I'm here. Very good. Um, Josman Atilio. No. Okay. Um, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Um, Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present. Okay. Pamela Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Santiago Roberto. No. Okay. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, guys. Let's see some scenarios and I wanted to discuss this one with your classmates. I know that the time is short, so, but I wanted to talk. Okay. Uh, for example, what will you do if you can sleep tonight? But listen, I want the full sentences, okay? For example, okay, if I can sleep tonight, I will ta 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 ta, -ta. Ah, if I feel bored next Saturday, I will ta 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 ta, -ta. So I need full sentences. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, I will send the questions on WhatsApp's group and we are going to go to the breakup rooms. We only have a few minutes, so please everybody, let's make an effort. I know that you might be tired, but let's make the effort to participate, okay? So I want to everybody enter to the breakup rooms and talk, okay? Let me open up the rooms, give me a second. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we have a lot of listeners. Okay, if you are in a group and you listen that your classmates are not participating, let me know so I can switch you to another group. Let's go to practice everyone. Full English, please. Hello. How are you? Oh. <laughs> okay, Nelson, start for you are. <laughs> <laughs> the first question. Yes. What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? And the answer? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what would you do if you can't sleep tonight? <clears throat> I don't know. I will I will be frustrated because tomorrow I have to tomorrow I will go to the cancha no se ve i forget cancha uh, field field ah thank campo tomorrow i will go to the field uh, and I will play basketball. I need to rest today. <laughs> okay. And you, Lorena, tell me. <laughs> if I can sleep tonight, I will read a book or I sleep easier. <laughs> and you, Pamela? 
um, if I can sleep tonight, I will I will watch a movie, <laughs> and I fall asleep. Simple. While while <laughs> I I am <laughs> I am watching a movie. <laughs> or her movie. No. Mm. <laughs> I will I will not sleep the the next night. <laughs> Uh, okay, Wilber. Okay, if I can't sleep tonight, I think I will take a shower. Really? Yes. It helps you. <laughs> yes, it helps me. It helps me. Okay, okay. And number two? A, a strange solution, but okay. <laughs> uh, no, but it's because uh, it was, uh, it is because. Uh, because what I told you in the other meeting, I just arrived from St. Michael City and my skin is uh, pegajosa. Uh, okay. And I, yeah. and I need it. Okay. okay. <laughs> I agree. Yes, I agree too. If you feel bored next Saturday, what will you do? If I feel bored next Saturday, I will, I will go to the movies. To the cinema. Yes, to the movie theater. Oh, Pamela really what likes kind of to movies? watch movies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. What kind of movie are you going to see? I want to see the, this movie. I don't know if you... Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, too, but... Uh, okay. Oppenheimer. It's okay. Oppenheimer. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Wilbur. What about you? <laughs> okay. Uh, if, I, if I feel bored next Saturday, uh, bored. I, will, I will watch a movie by my house. And finish to watch uh, the series. Uh, I good uh, for do the sandwich. Excuse me, repeat. Good. What about you, Edwin? Uh, what will you eat if you are hungry at midnight tonight? So if I am hungry. At midnight tonight, I will prepare a sandwich. Okay. And well, if I you want, if I am hungry at midnight tonight, I will wake up and I will look for her. In my refrigerator, something, something for it. Okay, uh, four. If you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV, Carlos? Um, after class, I will watch action movie. Action movie. Action movie. Or romantic movie. <laughs> or Barbie movie. <laughs> okay. What about you, Jose Salvador? If I want to relax after class, um, I, I won't watch on TV. Okay. But I, I will watch Netflix. Okay. In, in the computer or on TV? On TV. Okay. Edwin, if you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV? Mm, if I want to relax after class, I will watch a serial. A serial. Uh, what series will you 
where you watch. Show Hunter. Shot Hunter. Show Hunter, right. Okay. Well, if I want to relax after class, I will watch uh, a movie, maybe action movie. Okay. Number five. Five. If you decide to eat out, which restaurant will you go to? Carlos? Yeah. Uh, if I am I'm hungry at midnight tonight, I will eat pupusas. Pupusas, yeah. huh? Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, the, Oh, are, are, uh, uh, there are three triple pushes, but uh, the problem is the problem is um her, uh, my sister's pupusas. There, or be the como decir and they forgetting how to say. So so pupusas uh, they they. Pupusas. Hair. But 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 if I am hungry at midnight tonight, I will eat pupusas. Hair pupusas. I say here first. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV? Mm. Mm. Relax. Mm. Postman? <laughs> I'm thinking... In my case, I am, I will I will watch uh, um, epic movie mm, because I like great. so much. Nice. Yeah. Uh, on my case, in my case, I never watch TV. Sorry. Oh. Why? Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> if, if if I want to relax after class, I will watch on TV uh, a movie uh, a Jim Scary movies. Jim Scary. Oh nice. Yeah, nice. I love the classics. Okay. The last you try to eat out, which restaurant will you go to? Oh, it 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 it's easy for me. If I decide to eat out, I will go to Artisan in Santa Ana. It's the best paninis and hamburgers of <laughs> <Okay>. Salvador. <laughs> oh my! If I decide to eat out. Um, I will to go. Um, Buffalo wings. I like oh, the um, the wings yeah. of this place. Yeah, and the micheladas. <laughs> oh man! And, and the you, Osman? Uh, uh, and sorry, <laughs> one number sentence. We we the, the five. five number five number five. Ah. We you decide to eat okay, which restaurant will be what? Um I I I will I will go to Lover's restaurant. Okay, time's up. Let's wait for everyone to return to the main room. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right, everyone. Well, let's wait for your classmate. They are still in the breakup rooms. All right, how was the practice? Easy, difficult, 50-50? 50-50. okay. Fisher, you how do you say, hasta que el cuerpo aguante? <laughs> <laughs> Until the body receives. Until the until, body. Until the body receives. Resist. 
Resist. Ah, resist. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's go back, everybody. Time's up. I know that you want to continue talking. I know, but unfortunately, we don't have more time. I'm but... hungry, teacher, for the for the question. <laughs> now you want to eat the three pupusas yeah. that you have there. Yeah. <laughs> Pupusas. But are your sister's pupusas, not yours? Yeah, mm. <laughs> okay. Did you answer all the questions, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Did your classmate use the two uh, sentences, simple presence and then future? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Spanish? No, Spanish. Never. never. Okay, never. That's the attitude. Okay, guys, thank you so much for participating. Now we don't have more time. Remember that it's Friday, okay? Yes. I will check your progress on the platform. We are in the week number three, <laughs> everyone. So I just finished. Excellent. That's the attitude. Elias? <laughs> Mm, my goodness. So remember, guys, we have one more week and the platform has to be done. Okay, so try to advance as much as possible. Do you have yes, any teacher. questions before leaving, everyone? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, my, so have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, because <laughs> you, you don't finish the platform. No, if you finish the platform, <laughs> you will have it. No. <laughs> okay, everyone. Nice. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Thanks. Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. See you bye, on Monday. Bro.